Backups Arcade Turbo. This little 16 gig PC emulation build is tricked out to the max. All sorts of shaders, sound effects, visuals, you name it. This thing has it all. This maybe cracked me up when I played this thing. There's so many cool little small thought out things that just make it such an epic uh, build. So let's go ahead and check it out really quick. When you load it for the first time, you're going to be prompted with the intro video. So as you saw, you can grab this little thing on backups.me. I'll put a link in the description on how to grab it. Um, the image creator here, Boz, really good, good work. I mean, I'm loving it. The little smoke on the right side here, he wanted to make nostalgia for, you know, having it, your ability to go to those old 1980s, you know, maybe 70s where you could still smoke in an arcade and you had that smell going on. Um, so we wanted to get the, the, the feel going on. You can have, uh, it's got over 150 MP3s for a nice little jukebox, or you can turn off the jukebox and just get like an ambient uh, crowd noise for an arcade. There's joystick noises when you go between games. There's a ton of shaders pre-done, a lot of artwork done. Um, a lot of the retro community that work on emulation builds have put their favorite games in here as well. So in this video, we'll go ahead and go through the game list first, check that out. Um, go through some of the options while you're in a game, show you some of those shaders, some of those effects. It just looks really cool. You'll be able to see that through this YouTube video here. Then we're gonna look at the manual. He made an entire instruction manual outlining all the things he's done and if you wanna change any of them. And then he, when you first boot up this build, there's an entire freaking tutorial that guides you through, that narrates you through and shows you everything. It's so cool, it teaches you the controls and stuff like that. I have yet to see such a thought out build uh, ever really so kudos uh, really really amazing build here um, so we're gonna do all that in this video it's it's I'll put chapters in it so you can skip around but uh, you're gonna want to look at this it's just so cool it was a very cool retro experience that um, I love when people really take the time and uh, you know go go through this now again this is running on a track mode with a rocket launcher so that's what we're looking at here let's get into it all right so here you are game number one 1942 Next is, oh, first, the first game is the tutorial, then 1944. And you can hear that joystick button that I'm clicking after burner. You can turn that on and off really easily. Let me just show you really quick. You can go over here to sound. It's actually not in there, sound. It's in displays, main, layout options. You can change the smoking to right or left-handed. Mute game videos if you want. Navigation sounds, you can do an arcade stick, a click, or a random, or none. Just go ahead and turn those off really quick. And then my, I'm not playing the built-in sound. I could easily go ahead and put on the music or do nothing or have the arcade. I'm just doing the arcade. We're doing 1990. Let's just do 1992 and we're done there. Escape, escape, escape. <coughs> and here we go. Next game, you got Aliens. If I went the wrong way. And then we have uh, Alien vs. Predator. Now, those little icons in the upper right corner, you have a ghost here. And you're going to see some more in a second. Arkanoid, Asteroids. Uh, there's another one right there. These little icons are different YouTubers, different people on Discord, different people in the community that the creator, you know, asks, hey, what's your favorite game? And I'm going to make these little special uh, icons for you, you know? So it's really cool. If you see a tab like that, that means it's somebody's favorite game, right? So this Mario right here, for example. Um, so that's kind of cool, right? Especially if you want to play a game. And guess who's on here? Yours truly is on here as well. Uh, if you want to know what the games were so far in the bottom corner of the screen, you could see the, the game name Chase HQ, for example, on this one. So sorry, I wanted to talk a little bit about those badges and what they mean. In the lower left-hand corner is when the game came out. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you're seeing what it is. Hey, look at that logo in the upper right corner. So yeah, Demon Front was my game to throw in there. Uh, great game. I love Metal Slug. I like this game. You know, these type of games are so fun fun with two people with one person a lot of fun so check that one out um and and then shout out to you know the creator awesome that he uh hooked me up and put it on there dig dug <clears throat> the don pachi you got your donkey kong double dragon final fight so that's just something I would say about this build, Frogger, is this, you know, it's a it's an old school arcade build. As you saw in his manual, or will see in his manual, 
you know, it just has a lot of nostalgia. Okay, Wolfano's in here for Gauntlet. Good to see Wolfano's in here. Uh, Golden Axe. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't I don't recognize everyone's avatar. Sorry if I'm totally just ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, two of them, right? And then ghosts and goblins. Oh, this is a double one. Green beret. I'm gonna have to check this one out. I don't know if I've spent too much time on that game. Hyper Sports. So as I was saying, uh, not a lot of games on here. Uh, you can hit uh, Y on your controller if you want to jump to letters. You want to go through the, um, the, the the collections a little faster. Uh, I'll have to check the size for you, but this is not a big download either, which is kind of nice. We got Mercs. I'm uh, loving the attention to detail. Here you go, Metal Slug X. What an intro. MK, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Monkey Ball, Elephant Game. Moon Cresta, nice, nice, like broad. Um, wow, this person's logo is pretty sick with the smoke going behind it. Nice. That was Moon Patrol, Mr. Do, <clears throat> Mr. Pac Man, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. All right, we got Futari, Ninja Baseball Batman, Ninja Gaiden, Outrun. Pac Land. That's somebody's favorite too. Then we got Pac Man, Paper Boy, uh, per Peridius, Phoenix, Pole Position, Punch Out, Rainbow Islands. We're almost at the end here. Oh no, we're not even close to the end. Raiden DX, Rampage, <clears throat> Rastin, Renegade, Robocop, Robotron. I just watched a documentary on Robocop. Um, Evidently, it was like a really hard movie to make. Like, it was way over budget. A lot of the actors were unhappy. I think at one point there was a strike on set. But uh, still, uh, still a really cool movie. All right, and here is the maker himself uh, with Sky Kid as his game of choice. Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. I mean, oh, this is also Street Fighter Alpha 3. Oh, what, what, there's two of these? So there's Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter, oh, Third Strike. <clears throat> the Simpsons, arcade game. I mean, I, I put my put my logo right here, too. Uh, Sinistar, Silkworm, about 20 more games. Smash TV. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a game, too, which is really cool, is this is running Rocket Launcher. And so, okay, Splatterhouse is real. Spy Hunter. Again, the creator using the um, his favorite games, Super Sprint or Go To Game, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Hang on. So there's about four different Street Fighters on here: Tapper, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tempest, Tetris. Ooh, glad to see Tetris. I think that gets overlooked a lot. What a classic game. Time Pilot, the New Zealand story, Three Wonders. And then Toki's. Trucks in two, two crude dudes, and then uh, Wonder Boy, and uh, Wizard of War, and WWF WrestleFest. And then here you are, Kung Fu Strider. Let's get this a roll. So you go ahead and press A on your controller, and then look at that, it has a loading, it's called a, a fading screen. He has a special sound effect, as it multiple sound effects. And uh, you can see all the shaders on here and everything. I mean, you can even see, like, that's so cool. Like, the just slightly distorted, like, your phone screen. All right. I did want to show you here if you hit L3. You go ahead and you go into uh, Rocket Launcher. And once you're in Rocket Launcher, you can put some guys in here. How to win at video games, how to win at Cat Can. Read me. Send a the defender. Winner for the video That's cool. You can like load up the, the game to the thing and start reading. Okay. So we can go ahead and go back, back, back. Uh, I think we can just go back. Back to this main menu here, and then probably just hit L3 again, right? Let's see. 
There you go. Yeah. So you hit L3, which is you you, you press in your analog stick. Alright, how do you jump? Ooh. Who's that? Ooh, what's that? What's that do? Give me that. Come over here. Do these guys have like raccoon hats on or what? Whoa! Oh, I want to go the other way. All right, and I have to give this arcade instruction booklet just mad props, just the amount of, of work. So this is the creator, Boz, 1978. He really just put all in on this thing. Uh, nice little table of contents. Talks about you know him growing up and uh, hanging out at the arcades, and that's what he wanted, something great. So this little demo screen, I'm going to show you at some point in the video. I mean, you might have already seen it. Amazing great job explaining you know the smoking options the screensaver we looked at that in the video i've looked at that already overlays and sh and shaders really nice custom really has its own little unique feel the music player is pretty cool it's got i don't know what does it say here it's got like 50 track 50 100 tracks on it uh fade screens all custom really cool custom animations uh as well it does say you know hey you do need a little bit nicer of a computer to run some of these shaders I'm running even nice, you know, even slightly faster computer than this. Um, I've got a GTX 3060, so I'm having no issues whatsoever. Uh, controllers. Um, we're gonna check out some of these. The, the the smoke cigarette is awesome. The Easter egg, I I don't know what the Easter egg is. I've got got to the Easter egg part, and uh, but it's from zero to a hundred, or it's a hundred, right? And you can't, you have to enter in a, a number. So I'm kind of maybe have to gamble with different numbers. You got me. Um, but I did notice there are some intro videos hidden in the build, some like funny ones. So maybe that'll change out some of those intro videos. Um, yeah, all kinds of customization here within that menu. Hit tab on your keyboard to get to it, and you can get to all these things. Um, as it points out here, your main right here, your main settings you're going to want to change when you hit tab are going to be displays, screensaver controls. Most of everything I found was in displays, and then go to MAME, and then go to yeah, there you go, displays, MAME, layout options right here. That's going to get the most of them. Um, different shaders. Um, I love the uh, screensavers really is beautiful. He got it from a, um, another uh, creator. And um, I like that it does have rocket launcher. I like this that you can hit L3 on your controller and go ahead and pause the game. Uh, in arcade games, there's no pause button, right? So this allows you to, to pause. Now, if you're running Retro Arch, you could also just turn on the main settings there. But hey, that's kind of cool to know that you know you don't need a keyboard. You can just hit L3, grab a beer, and get back to it, or you know, answer your phone and get back to it. And then here's all of his retro arch settings here and how he has it set up. If you want to play with it, and he talks about like FAQs, you know, how if you want to add new uh, music to it, understanding you know Rocket Launcher and how it uses its music, and then here's the track listing. So 142 songs. I was wrong. I thought it was 50. Yeah, or 100. 142. Um, so let me go back here in case you want to see. There you go. And uh, troubleshooting, a couple little FAQs or facts, and then uh, credits going out to some people. So here are the people. If you're wondering like what badge is which person, this is one way to um, to figure it out. So those are the badges that they have. There's there's me, uh, but there's other people on here as well, like Wolfenos. Like Wolfenos isn't in the creator credits here, but uh, cool that. He was, uh, you know, added to it as well. And then friends, <laughs> yeah, friends, 1990s, baby. Um, you know, hyper spin a track mode, you know, they're using that, that, uh, front end, you know, the core team packs are us. A lot of these, uh, arcade packs and all the settings and stuff. Um, you know, they, they work on those, uh, discord channels and those groups as well. So to get here, you want to hit tab on your keyboard, then go to displays, and then go to MAME. And then here's where you're going to see all the um, the different things you can change. The Easter egg, the whether you want the smoking on the screen or not on the screen. 
uh, the type of background music you want, uh, whether or not you want a sound when you move up and down between the games or not, a joystick click or whatever. So you just want to hit tab, displays, MAME. That's where you're going to get to a lot of this stuff, those settings, super easy to do. Um, once you set it up, you shouldn't need a controller anymore at all. If you want to get into retro rocket launcher rolling the game, you just hit L3 on your controller. So a lot of this stuff is easy to do. You don't need a keyboard the whole time. Now let's check out that screensaver that he custom made for this build. Um, here you go. And then I'll go ahead and show further into the clip as well. You see it kind of starts out with this like snake-like thing. And then I'll open up a new tab here and show you like a little bit further down into the screensaver video. Welcome and thanks for downloading Backups Arcade. I'm Frank George and I'm going to run through some basic features of the build with you. So, grab yourself a wireless Xbox One controller, light up a virtual Siggy, and let's get started. Start by navigating through the many classic retro games using the D-pad. Once you've decided on a game, press the X button to reveal an awesome custom controller along with its associated control scheme. Now that you know the controls for that game, you can actually start it by pressing the A button. While the game loads, you'll be presented with a custom loading screen and animation. When the game's finished loading, you can add credits by pressing the select button and then start the game by pressing start. You'll also notice a special badge at the top right-hand corner of some of the games. This is a hats off to the Discord user who requested that particular game. This is Boz's way of giving that personalized touch. After you've had your ass handed to you a few times, you might want to exit back to the game selection screen. Well, you can do this by pressing the R button. If you get fed up of looking for a certain game, well, you can speed up the search by pressing the Y button. This skips alphabetically to the first game that starts with that letter. This comes in handy if you're late for work or if you're on a promise from the wife. As a bonus, this version of Backups has a music player built into the game selection screen. When a new song starts playing, you'll see the song name flash up at the top of the screen. This is all thanks to expert coder and 100% the brains of the team, Y. Aaron. Included is a selection of 70s and 80s soft rock and pop songs. You can flick through these by pressing the LB and RB buttons on your controller. You can also easily add or remove your own music by dragging it to and from the music folder. Anyway, that's enough from me. I hope this brings back some memories for you old timers and some new fun experiences for the kiddies. Cheers from Frank George. Now, you lucky folk are about to play Back Ups Arcade Turbo. So there you have it, the Backups Arcade Turbo, 150 games, but it's not about the games, it's about the whole experience, uh, the, the music, the different options you could do within a track mode, the shaders that were pre-done, the smoking effect, the intro videos, the, the fading videos, all that stuff make for a really, really cool little arcade build. And coming in right at like 15.7 gigabytes, you can throw this thing on a 32 gigabyte card or a thumb drive, bring it to a friend's house, whatever, super portable. But uh, I just love all the little details put in. Now, is there better builds out there with way more games, way more collections? Totally. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That, not, not, no, without a doubt. But I love this build. Like, I love how tricked out it was. It, it put smiles on my face throughout the video. So, with that being said, I dug it. But you could be the judge whether you're interested or not. That's what I think. Let me know all think. Don't forget to like, to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.